All right, um, I'm running Topaz Video AI version 4.2.0 now, and they just released the new version, an update for this this version, which is 4.2.1, in which Resolve plugin updates has a faster processing, reduced initialization time, um, resolved some memory access crashes, updated to Proteus v4, estimate button fixed in macOS. Um, so these are the specs that we expect to have in the new version. I didn't update yet because I want to test, uh, actually to review how it goes uh, for footage inside uh, DaVinci Resolve. The footage that I, I've chose um, is a 1280 per uh, 720p. Uh, it's a short clip, um, a bright sunny day, and everything's clear. But as a as a uh, 720p uh, video, you can see that it's plain plenty of little squares. The finition is not that good. So I um, I'll be using then uh, Topaz Labs plugin inside DaVinci Resolve, um, the first version. I'll be applying to the clip. Here we go. And um, go to Inspector and we see um, Topaz Video AI plugin here. I will choose Pro to use. I'll leave it in Auto. And I can see already that there is a change to the image. Um, the image was actually increased. I like what I see, but as soon as you you apply the um, the plugin to the footage, you start noticing um, that frames per second drop like drastically. If I try to play this this footage, look, it's two frames per second. It's not even close to twenty nine point seven uh, nine hundred and seventy frames per second in which this footage was shot. So really, um, it, it's not good at all. It's for, for the workflow, it's, it's, it's not acceptable. If you have more than one footage, longer uh, clips, then you're gonna be struggling with that inside DaVinci Resolve. Now, what I'm going to do is that I will be updating Topaz Video AI to the latest version, which is version 4.2.1. And I will run the same test to see if um, they will deliver deliver what they're promising uh, in the description for the new release. I have the update available button here. I will just press it, press update, and see what happens next. It's actually downloading here, right on the right corner, 2022. It's going really fast for the downloading. I will just wait this to finish and um, and test the plugin, the new plugin inside the Vinci Resolve. Okay, it finished downloading, so I'll click install now. I have a pop-up here. Continue, continue. I agree. Open effects plugin. This is the one, so continue, install, close application, and install. Writing files, here we go. Okay, it's finished. I'll reopen DaVinci Resolve. All right, here I am back inside DaVinci Resolve where I I did put three times the same footage. So we have the original here first. In the middle we have um, the same footage with the plugin applied to it inside DaVinci Resolve. And third one will be uh, actually a rendering that I did inside Topaz Video AI, exported and then re-imported inside DaVinci Resolve. But I will show that just at the end. Let's start with the normal footage with the with no no enhancement applied. 
you can see it's pretty much um, low in quality, full of squares. This one is already with uh, Topaz Video AI applied. Okay, let's stop here. Again, Topaz Video AI applied. Here we go. All right, let's stop there. And let's get back to the first and original footage. Okay, stop there. Here's with the plugging. Definitely, there is an improvement here in quality. As we can see, uh, let's pay attention to this, this person here in the middle. Um, the first clip, we can see that it's much more blurry and um, kind of, you know, we can see the squares here for the low definition. And when we put, when we go to the next footage, we can see that we have a real improvement here in the quality. The silhouette seems much more visible and defined. Now, let's get out from these, uh, the full screen and let's go to the third one. But before, I would like to show you inside Topaz Video AI. This is the, the footage that I enhanced inside Topaz Video AI and uh, exported and re-imported inside DaVinci Resolve. We have here a comparison mode and we already can see the difference, the original footage and the result. Here we go. All right, playback. So if I play this, I did render the preview uh, from in and out as this one is a short clip, so no bother in doing that. Here we go, it plays really well, all right? So let's go back to DaVinci Resolve and now I will put in um, full screen mode again and check it out. This is the footage that I exported um, from Topaz Video AI. It's amazing that the, the, the difference in quality here. Let's get back, put it again. It's not comparable according to me. So even here, here we have it inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's go to the um, color page where I applied the, um, the plugging. So here we can see that it was applied Pro Tools, Auto. And uh, actually th these are the options that you have. You could go and do manual, for example, and play uh, with all these options like improve detail, sharpen, uh, reduce noise, de-halo, anti-alias, and de-blur, recover original detail, and add noise, for example. But when you get inside Topaz Video AI software itself, you have plenty of other options like interlace progressive, um, the AI model itself that you can play around and test parameters. Then uh, for exporting, then you have these, um, frame interpolation, motion de blur, stabilization, all these things are inside. The stabilization inside the Venture Resolve is pretty good, so we're not just we're not comparing that. Actually we're just comparing the fact that the plugin doesn't do the same job inside DaVinci Resolve as it does inside Topaz Video AI software itself. This is the main thing here. Uh, this is my conclusion. Even uh, after the um, the second update version 4.2.1 which updates also the plugin in which they claim they did some improvements. It doesn't compare. It's still better to go inside Topaz Video AI, treat your videos here, and then export and re-import inside DaVinci Resolve. As we can see, I'll put it on full screen another time. And here we go. By the way, I would like to show you actually the, the original footage and play it for you. Here we go. This is the original one, playing through VLC. It was filmed into a Sony uh, 720p camera DSC uh, 10 years ago. 
All right, to conclude then um, about the performance. So as we can see um, under here, there are blue lines over the clips, which means that I applied actually render cache output to auto and um, the playback is uh, on render cache user. And I also um, generated um, optimized media for these clips. Otherwise, it's quite impossible to deal with the clips, not the original one, of course, but the ones that have the plugin applied to uh, a playback uh, with just the footage and the plugin applied without any um, cache or, or optimized media is uh, unbearable. It's not possible. So what I do is to to demonstrate that I will get the footage applied here. Go to effects, grab uh, the plugin applied over the footage. Go to effects. Then let's apply Proteus. Here we go. Put it at the beginning. Let's pay attention over here for the frames per second. Play for. and stays at four. Let's play it again. One, two, three, three and a half. Yeah. Dealing with optimized media inside DaVinci Resolve, it's an option. You can render every, every single clip and wait. But as we could see, the results for quality is not the same as uh, rendering the clips inside uh, Topaz Video AI software itself. So what I would do is definitely go and uh, inside Topaz Video AI software, render all my clips here inside, and then re-import them inside DaVinci Resolve, and then uh, establish my timeline and finally focus um, uh, to the job itself, uh, which which is the creation of your of your of your final product as a video. Um, for me, it's a much better way of working. So this is it for now. It's an amazing tool, Topaz Video AI. It's helping uh, a lot in terms of uh, recovering um, low quality footage, but still inside the Vinci Resolve, it's not um, at its best. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and, and I hope also that this uh, comparison and uh, actually uh, demonstration was useful for you and I hope to see you in the next one.